Um, this is another doll box opening video. Um, I just got my guy today. Um, I ordered a doll she Bernard, which I placed um, January 14th, and I just now got it uh, earlier today. So it was about six months wait, which was a long time, but not as long as some people, so I'm not sad. And anyway, I'm very excited about this because it's going to very exciting. I got my two other guys here. Lazul, or uh, this is River, who is from the last box opening video I did, and he's assumed Lazul. And then I have Cillian here, which is, he has a Lutz wintry head on a Ipple House YID body. So they're going to be here to welcome the new man. <laughs> I'm so excited! But anyway, here's the box. It has a doll sheet logo on there. Very cool. I'm waiting all day to open this. I had to work again. And it came right before I had to leave. Of course. So I was like, I don't want to rush this. I gotta save it the moment. So, even though it was a pain at work to think about him being at home all alone in a box. Oh but anyway, here now, so getting this baby open. And I'm really excited about it. You're my third guy in my collection. Packing label. Always well stuck. Congratulations, post office. Uh huh. Get this thing open. <laughs> oh, pretty box. Look at this baby. <laughs> Whoa! Look at that. Black. I love me some black. <laughs> okay, let's get this thing out of here. Carefully out. Alrighty. Back there. The box out of the way. And I see it has like a it's like a slip case. Comes out one end. Kinda cool. So let's slip this guy out. Slip him out. Carefully. Gotta keep the box nice. And anyway, Dolce Bernard, uh, he will be 70 centimeters, which is my tallest doll yet. So he will be, yeah, the big one. Looking down at everybody. What a snob, right? Anyway, oh, they have a nice foam covering. Smells really nice once again. <laughs> one of the high points, literally, of opening one of these things. Oh, uh, coming out. Whoa. And I ordered him in fresh skin. <laughs> and I also ordered a pair of shoes with him. Just because. One of the few things they actually had in stock on their website. And I was like, eh, he's something with him at least. So his feet won't be cold. He will be eyeless. And also, cloth no clothing. But, it's okay. <laughs> Here's the shoes. I got the black loafers, I believe they're called. Kind of cool. Open these up for ya. I think I'm looking at one of them. It's got some big feet. Oh. Look at these cool loafers. Oh, wow. It's Dalshi logo on the inside. It's a Dalshi, I believe. Cool. Nice details there. Is that? Then come with extra string as I've heard and seen. So that's nice. Yeah. And then got the cards here that have all the information on there. But he's an official doll she doll. So that's good. If there's any dispute, we have the proof right here. And it's on video if these are destroyed. Do, do, do. So that's that. And then I got a little envelope here that I will open. And we'll just see what's inside of it. Ooh, do. A laminate certificate. Let's see. Has a sculptor's name, mold, reprodu reproduction, all sorts of stuff. Info on my specific doll. So he's one of a kind. 
Very official. <laughs> nice doll she. I can see why it took you six months. Nice little doll she logo on there as well. Nice. And also with uh, him, I got the pure body um, for him. And it also comes with a sleeping head. So here's him with his, if he has his eye closed. And with these, the face plates are removed instead of the whole head. So you can do two, two different expressions. He has his regular awake eyes, or just a normal doll. Like, and then he has the other one where he's sleeping and like zoning out. Or having a seizure, one or the other. But basically, here's his, here's his sleeping head. Here's his sleeping head. And of course, none of these have the makeup bottom, the face up. I will be doing that myself again. Because I just didn't like theirs. So I'll be using my artistic touches on those cheeks. Give them some rosy cheeks. And that. And then let's get this guy out. Slowly out. Slowly. Don't do break. Don't break. Good doll. Whoa. Look at him. Here's something rattling in there. I think it's that cap thing. Creepy, right? But cool, too. Mm hmm. Let's get this bag over his head. Suffocating in there. Oof! Hand stuff. Hand stuff. I guess I should cut those off because. <laughs> if I rip them off, it's the other way I rip them off. And then, what would I do? What would I do? Okay, so let's get this off. Get it all off. Get the bandages off. What's underneath? It's a real hand. A real hand. OMG. Uh -huh. Hi, Bernard. And again, once again, He'll be referred to by his sculpt name, Bernard, because I don't have a name for him, once again. It takes me forever to figure out names for dolls. And it's not that. I need to have eyes, wig, something on there to get a feel for him. You know, like, who is he? Who does he think he is? And all that sort of thing, you know? So, yeah. Let's get him out of there. Oh, the box on the way. See, it came with a nice foam insert. Whoa, kind of creepy. Kind of cool. Let's get. <laughs> Here he is. Sure. There's his head. Without his eyes. I know creepy, but also kind of cool. He has the doll she, uh, uh, minus the head, head face falling off. Um, head plate. Here's the back. There's a little logo doll she thing in there. And the rattling, as I assumed, was the little knob here. Like, actually, if you see the front, because his head fell, his face fell off. This pops on top of here. Just kind of sits on there. Kind of weird. But anyway, let's get his face back on. Because it just doesn't look right with his face on. <sighs> Make sure he's okay. He's good. That's a common problem with these dolls. She dolls, um, their face plates come off really easily, so kind of have to be delicate with them, and possibly rubber band them on. <laughs> but he will keep his head very tilted up. Jaw, what's up there? <laughs> anyway, there he is. <laughs> okay, he's keeping his face off for now, and then. <laughs> Okay, and these bodies are really cool because they, they tilt forward really far, like they could coach really far. So, and I'll show you if I can get him to do it. There's like one notch for a slightly crouched. See that? And you can make him really crouched. You do that. So he's like, he's like Mr. Burns, you know? But kind of cool. His legs, all nice. He can do this stuff, so he can, he's got the peanut in there, it's a little nice, so he's got the little elbow thing, so he can keep his hands up, he's a little squeaky, so you can hear, 
which is good, it means he's strung tightly. But you can make him have more expressions like that. He can hold his arms up. Some dolls have problems with that, but he's not one of them. But yeah. And so he's got he's hacking a little bit down there. I ain't got any underwear for him yet, but it's in the works. It's in the works. And his knees also come out like that. Snap out so he can do this. The dolls can't do that. So there's an extra joint in there. He can kneel. Kind of cool. They're, I like how realistic these dolls are. It's just, oh, so amazing, you know. I just love them. Can you just see that? You can just sit like that. It's just, ah, oh, I don't know. It's something about him. Even though he doesn't have his brace on. I don't want to keep it on too much so my face will fall off. But again, I need to get something on there to keep it on. So he won't be completely nuts. But, yeah. Hold it for now. Very poetic. Very poetic! Anyway, there he is. I am going to kill somebody. Okay, so, here's Bernard Bernard. Um, I'll try to do a size comparison for you um, with the other guys over here. Um, so you can see the height difference. And, get them stood up like this. <laughs> And then we got my Azul here. Azul was my tallest boy. And Azul is 65 and a half centimeters. So he's pretty tall. Um, he's got shoes on as well right now, so I guess that might make a difference. Um, you know, but get him straightened out here. But height wise, you know, not too big of a difference, um, really. I thought it'd be more, well, it's about five centimeters without his shoes on. But not too bad. They go together pretty well. I wanted my guys to kind of fit together, like in a sort of group. I don't know, kind of, you know, not like they could really exist together. You know what I mean? So that's him. And then we got, <clears throat> we got Sylvian over here. Let's hold him up. And he is 63 centimeters, so he's a little shorter. And his pants are really greatest. He doesn't have shoes on, so this is flat foot here. So he's a little bit bigger. Bigger difference there. So he's the shorty of the bunch, even though he's 63 centimeters, so... Yeah. Mama, you have no faith! Really? Uh, where did it go? Uh, I think it's down there. Oh my gosh, seriously. Oh my, oh my god. <laughs> Alright. But anyway. Um, that was my doll box opening video, <clears throat> shorter than the last one for some reason. I guess I didn't order a wig with them or anything, um, but I always thought there were these shoes on. Because he looks like with his shoes on. But they fit like a dream. Like a dream. Look at those. They fit like a dream. Oh my god. Cool, right? Let's put his sleeping cap on quick, or face on. See what that looks like. See how that looks. There's the sleeping head on. Here we go. So he's sleeping right now. I'm so happy he came and I'm so happy he comes with two heads or two faces. Wow, look at those. <laughs> there they are. Even though he looks nuts, his head's all tied the back. But I'll hopefully have um, his face look done very soon. Um, very happy with my collection thus far. Thank you, Soom, Dalshi, Lutz, Ipple House. Um, I'm very gracious to you. They are beautiful sculpts. I will be purchasing in the future, for sure. Anyway, well, that was uh, the end of my video, and we are signing off. Bye, goodbye, goodbye, and we'll see you next time. <laughs> and, yeah, we'll figure what to do about that. But anyway, bye-bye for now. See ya.